Diabetes mellitus is the number seven killer disease in the world. In 2014, statistics show that 387 million people were suffering from this disease. And it is estimated that by the year 2035, an additional 205 million people would be suffering from this disease. On top of that, in South Africa, 1.9% of the <coughs> population is suffering from this disease. And this disease does not go without complications. Several complications are involved, one of which is diabetes ulcers. These patients suffer a great deal from diabetes ulcers which affect their quality of life. It's a serious economic burden. It's a serious public health issue. <coughs> so over 70% of the patients suffering from diabetic ulcers also resolve in food amputations. Can you imagine that? However, several management strategies have been put in place. One of the management strategies is probably through dietary factors and other clinical interventions. Photobiomodulation or low intensity laser irradiation or light therapy is a non-invasive process, non-thermal, which has been used or known clinically to treat several, um, several variety of diseases, including diabetes ulcers. It is used in very low power to stimulate cellular <coughs> responses in the cell, which eventually relates, relates to the healing of wounds, which leads to the, the healing of wounds. What, what, what is this all about? The whole problem is that this particular treatment has been highly underutilized, even though it is existing. My project actually is looking at three questions to answer, but I will summarize it in one question. Is laser beneficial in treating diabetic wound healing? And the aim of my study is actually to investigate the gene expression of various proteins that stimulate wound healing. And clinically, we would see that we use, this, are, this is how it happens <coughs> clinically, but in the laboratory, I use cell models. University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.